instead of putting my name as Terrence Howard performing the, the song, right. they put performed by DJ. <laughs> so they own DJ. So guess what? The performance royalties went to Paramount. I said it's hot out here for a pill when you try to get the money for the rent. Push that shit out. DIY. DIY is just when you thought the only people that get done dirty in the music business are rappers and music producers. Ooh, they so damn dirty. They didn't found a way to even do one of the greatest actors of our time, in my opinion, Terrence Howard. Aye, man. What's wrong with you, man? Hey, hey, my hey, hey, car, man. Hey, man you think I look like a pawn shop, man? This may feel like it's not a music related topic, but man, when you hear this story about how this man only made 12,000 from Hustle and Flow, when he tells you how Paramount took his music money because he actually performed those songs. I didn't know as DJ, he performed those songs. Watch this. That was for the premiere of Hustle and Flow right here in Memphis, Tennessee. And did you have a gut feeling that this movie was going to be really no, transformative? No, check this out. I made $12,000 for doing Hustle and Flow. And then on top of it, what Paramount did. <laughs> no, look at, look at Homeboy's reaction on the left. Look at this. $12,000 for doing Hustle and flow. Look at that pen. And then on top of it, what Paramount did, <laughs> instead of putting my name as Terrence Howard performing the, the songs, right. they put performed by DJ. <laughs> well, they own DJ. So guess what? The performance royalties went to Paramount. I said it's hot out here for a pill. When you try to get the money for the rent. Did this man just say the labels? somehow convinced him to perform a rap song in which, yes, when you're acting and it's a song that's a very prominent part of the soundtrack, you're supposed to get performance royalties. Yes, even as an actor, you get performance royalties. Why? Because you performed it. They found a loophole. Mm. If we don't credit him as Terrence Howard, but credit him as DJ, we own the rights to DJ, which is a character in the movie Hustle and Flow, the main character. We own that. Wait a so minute. They didn't go to Terrence Howard. Howard. They went $12, to thousand dollars. All, that's all I ever made from Hustle and Flow. Everything else went right back into Paramount. So now I gotta sue Paramount or send them a letter. Are you serious? I gotta send them a letter to say, hey, you guys owe me about 20 years worth of residuals. <laughs> They owe him 20 years of residuals because this movie's been out for quite some time. There's money to be made because it actually won an Oscar off of this movie that in a lot of ways can be argued was a cult classic, at least in the hip hop culture. This man only made $12,000. And you know, you can feel a certain level of empathy or feel a certain like this is his business. If he signed it, that's what it comes with it. He was early on in his career. Hey, that's what comes with the territory. However, would you do your friend like that? Probably, I hope you would do your friend like that. You're not in business with no friends. This is the business that you hope to get a fair deal from? To me, it feels like the fair deals are the ones where you just get screwed a little bit less. I didn't know, I was just what? trying to pay my rent then. I made $6,000 doing, doing Crash. Crash didn't. I remember the movie Crash. Dollars. Yes, that's all right. The business don't pay actors anything. That's why we're. That's why the strike is going on. Actors mm. are struggling. Now, before y'all get any ideas, some of y'all I know are gonna listen to this and be like, "See, the actors got it figured out. We should go on strike." Save that strike. This shit for me. Save all that strike conversation. Save all that unionizing bullshit that y'all talking about in the music industry. Have you seen some of these niggas that's in position to win or what they think is winning? Have you seen the way that they talk about the bottom feeders of the music industry? Have you seen the way that they talk about you? You want to jump in a union and go on strike with them even though their priorities are very much different? They may be trying to pay down the amount that they owe on a Hellcat. You may be trying to pay down the amount you owe for a Walmart loan. You feel me? Like you may be trying to pay down your guitar center loan that you got approved for the priorities are different what's fair for one may not be fair for someone else i don't want to hear nothing about no sh you can get me out there striking and you strike by your damn self you want to strike you want to play baseball go play baseball i'm gonna go to the batting cages and worry about my particular lane it's hard out here for a pimp. Yeah, it is hard, unless you do it right. Unless you do and it I right. And I was, I've never been good at being a pimp. You know, the pimp has to have a heart of stone, you know, and, and mine is made of flesh and yeah. blood and like everybody else. So I'm like, why can't we be fair to each other in the industry? I like how he segues it. This is why I love watching Terrence Howard interviews. I love how he talks about the character in the movie, but he's low-key kind of, in my opinion, alluding to the pimping that is going on by some of these business.
businesses. It's heartless. A pimp is this. A pimp is that. And then he goes into this and he says, you know, why can't we just treat people fairly? I'm sure there's a lot of folks who have reasons for that. Music producers, I would like to take a second to speak with you about something that may be a bit embarrassing to talk about. Your drums. Are your drum patterns stiffer than day-old bagels? Do you feel at times that your beats lack a certain je ne sais quoi, human swing and manly slap? Do you find yourself too ashamed to grab the aux cord to show off that new beat you finished because you fear the laughter of your peers? I assure you that's nothing to be ashamed of. Well, maybe a little. Just kidding. In recent years, there's been an epidemic of beats with what medical professionals call nipple drums. But that's not entirely your fault. Sound designers, out of pure laziness, have sold you more recycled sounds than a used record store. And besides that last line being an absolute bar, you know there's no lies detected within it. I'd say it's time for a change. Trust me, I have a stethoscope. For instant relief to your lifeless beats, I'm recommending you buy the Nipple Drum Relief Kit by Curtis King. With over 25 royalty-free, high-quality drums breaks, this is guaranteed to breathe new life into any hip-hop or trap beat. For fast-acting nipple drum relief, you can count on Curtis King. Be sure to get your prescription at slapexperts.com. Why is there this lack of equanimity? Mm -hmm. You know, so we start, my wife started a thing called MyHolly.app, and it gives an opportunity for actors or entertainers around the world to now audition on their phone. You don't have to go to Hollywood. Right. You don't have to go to Tokyo or Singapore. You can actually stay at home, stay in school, audition, keep your day job, and accomplish your so dream. Come on now, that's some DIY shit. DIY. That's DIY shit. So if you didn't catch that, Terrence Howard and his wife, instead of trying to figure out a way to change the entire game, I think a lot of people get really, really in their like emotions when they're like, man, something has to change today. And they think that it's going to be a very drastic change in which the whole lid is blew off and it looks like a blockbuster film. That is not the change that he thought was the most appropriate. He said he and his wife created an app that allows actors to do auditions remotely from wherever they are. They don't have to go into these buildings where there's pressure for them to take less than what they're owed. There's pressure for them to just be anything that is not within their character. This allows them to get auditions where they're at currently. This is what I mean when I say when DIYers take action, it's not about trying to figure out this has to work for everybody or no, no. You need to figure out first, do it yourself, figure out how to make it work for yourself. And then don't be stingy about the information or go create something in the DIY spirit that other people can then benefit off of. This is why I do these reaction videos. I create this, there's a ripple effect through the independent hip hop space. If I do it right, there's a bigger ripple effect. If I resonate and I touch at the core of people, even bigger than that. But I love the fact that he took the initiative and decided for himself. That's what you're taking out the middleman, so to speak. Are you not? I want to get rid of the union. Ooh. SAG has done nothing. They, they sit up and say they're here right. for us now. They're talking because they haven't gotten their right. money. When I went to SAG five years ago saying, hey, Fox stole my image from, from, from mm -hmm. Hustle and Flow, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they're monetizing it. SAG didn't do anything to help me. They waited nine months till the statute of limitations got, oh, I'm sorry, you've mm -hmm. definitely got a, mm -hmm. a statute of a rights of publicity issue. This the unions y'all want to start? Somebody gonna have to tell the truth, and I'm gonna tell it. SAG can't even get it right for their actors. This is the union y'all want to start this is why i say music unions are bullish just like the actors unions have their own bullish if an actor of his stature can still be taken for a loop like this what makes you think that you any different make it make sense so they're not here to help the actors they're here to make their money so we're starting a community of international artists okay that we'll all work together and support each other in this in this quest to tell the truth and, mm. and to entertain Come on. each other. Yo, salute to you, brother. Salute to you for being proactive. Terrence Howard could have easily did like a lot of rappers are doing right now, complaining without any answers or any solutions or any trying to do any kind of work. Terrence Howard, I salute you because I see so much of myself in the way that you're describing getting rid of so many of these middlemen and middlewomen who cause headaches 
and don't create solutions that make it more difficult for us to get to the business that we wanted to get to when we decided to embark on this journey. I salute you because that's exactly what I'm trying to achieve with the tribe of DIYers that I'm currently talking to. I know that I'm talking to a lot of different people, but the people that I'm trying to activate are the ones who truly want to put the action in, who don't want to dream about it, who don't want to imagine it, who are actually willing to put feet, steps, and action behind what they stand on. You ready to stand on business? Because it's not just happening in music. There are people within industries that are trying to figure out how does that look for me? If I just took the initiative and did something, even if I failed at it, what might that look like? We're in the era of doers. We just so happen to be those who are willing to do it themselves first. Those are my thoughts though, DIYers. Let me know what you think. DIY. DIYers, if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Come on, man. Stop, stop being greedy. Peace.